Last of Vincent's Assembly on Il Clemmore Barthat. We're Rest of Vincent's Assembly. Mormon, what am I today? Well, actually, I'm not that far away from where I were last week when I had to dash off. I'm still on the May stubble, uh, th though we have got some uh, pasture. There's five fields in total, uh, but uh, I'll be using golf field on the May stubble for quite a while. Uh, it's worked well for me in the past, uh, and I can pick up things that other people are missing. <laughs> uh, not to worry. Uh, so... I may walk up to the pasture, but it's a long stroll. So I, if I stick down here, there's still plenty to go up. So I'll see you at the first hole. Bye. And I forgot to mention, it's damn cold. Uh, as Julius Caesar said when he uh, first got off the boats, when he invaded Britain, bloody hell, there's a cold breeze up the kilt. It's about one degree, if that, and with a cold wind which is dropping it down with the wind chill, uh, wind chill factor to well below zero. <sighs> oh well, it's part of the fun of metal detecting. Right, I've uh, worked my way all the way up the field and the first signal I've got other than iron and there's an awful lot of iron <laughs> signals, uh, is this, which is virtually at the headland. So let's give it a dig, see where it is. I'll just turn the camera around so you can see it. I have been picking up an awful lot of pottery, uh, mainly medieval, but uh, some nice stuff. There's something down there. I hope the audio is okay today, by the way. I've tried all sorts of different positions with the microphone. But this road microphone I can't see anything. It's just too damn sensitive. Oh, it's there. What's that? Oh, it's round. And I've thrown it away. A cruddy coin. I can see a Britannia. Facing right, so I'll have to. It's probably a, a George or a William. Another good signal. And 90, 92. Let me turn speaker on so you can hear it. in that
Well, you can't fault the pinpointing. Move you in a bit. Down there. It's not hot rock, is it? No. Not give it a signal, no. I see it. It's another coin. And this time it's a silver one. And it's a a shilling. Victoria Old Bust. Well, I'm not sure what's going on here, even with the detector. A foot off the ground. What's that? 250, 275 millimetres. Is that right? Off the ground. Uh, 250, no, 250 is 10 inch, isn't it? Or is it 22.5? That's 10 inch. Anyway, it's bloody high off the ground. It's still giving the signal strong enough to uh, trip the uh, audio. That's it. I thought I saw a gleam of silver. Another coin. Oh, thought I saw something. Yeah, there is there. No, definitely not a coin. Some sort of brooch. Looks like it's copper. Or oh, perhaps a rose gold and silver. Any pin? No pin. Well, that's why it. <laughs> Yeah, that's obviously why it got lost. Any hallmarks? I think so. Yeah, I think the silver marks. So I'll be able to ID it. So that's a nice find. Eighty five, it's giving a bit of a crazy XY again, not consistent. Jumping around a bit. But still consistent eighty five, eighty six. Incidentally. Most of the people that have been around me are all using those demented chicken detectors. I think people call them Equinox. That interfere like mad with good detectors. So if you've got a DS and you're on, I've been using 7.7 .7 and you're getting driven mad by 
clucking chickens or demented canaries in your headphones, go into uh, frequency expert settings and drop it down to about 7.5, 7.1, whatever, and the uh, Nox interference disappears. Out, I think. Yep. It's in this clump. Oh, it's a call it a thimble an open top one I don't get many of them I think I've only ever found two three three are they called tailless thimbles or something I thought it was deep. I don't think it was this deep. Oh. I'm down well over the depth of my digger. Look to my elbow. No, that's a big lump of stone. Oh, interesting. It's in there. And it's another coin. And I can already see the bit of silver on it. Oh, and it's a big one. Very big one and grot no less. Look at that. Eh? Who is it? Right, as you can see, I'm on Meadow now, using a Tweaks version of Hot. Plenty of battery. Let's try again. Well, the cold's affecting the camera. I've just had to. Uh, change the battery even though it's said there were 39% left but back to detecting I've got a lovely diagonal here uh, 71 repeatable yep we'll have a dig at that oh, this battery's flat it's just too cold to film sorry I forget.